Yeah, I love that. 20 seconds. Can you get two more points? Hello, Captains of Play. The next activities we are going to look at are some individual activities. They are really simple and all you will need for this are some bean bags or something similar and some markers. And then we're going to have lots of fun developing some skills which are really going to help them later on in their football careers. So, we are going to look at some skills which are going to help us in football. So the first thing we are going to do is look at some balancing skills because sometimes when we kick a football we need to balance on one leg to kick the ball with the other leg. Okay so I want to see if you can stand up without dropping your beanbag and walk and find a space somewhere in the square. I want to see if you can stand up, stand up. Now at the moment we've been balancing the beanbag on our head. I want to see if you can balance the bean bag on any other parts of your body. Let's have a look, okay? Which other part, any parts of your body apart from your head? Your shoulder, I like that, okay? Oh, I love that on your hand, brilliant. Shoulder, fantastic. Can you, as you are balancing it like this, can you walk around as you're doing it? Okay, on your elbow, like that, on your arm, on your back, that's fantastic. So where can you balance it? Find a space like this. Oh, on your foot, I love that. On one finger, that is amazing. Let's have a look. On your elbow, I love that. On your back, look at this, can you walk? Oh, nearly. I'm gonna try that one. So on my back and I'm gonna try and walk. Oh, I like that idea, brilliant. Can you jog as you're doing it and balancing it like this? Have a little go, oh, brilliant. Fantastic, fantastic. And stop where you are. While we are playing these games, at any time, I might shout, run a bean, okay? Now, if I shout run a bean, this is what you've got to do. You have got to drop your bean bag on the floor like this, and you've got to run around one of these big cones. So I might see a cone over here, run around it as fast as I can, come back, find my bean bag, and carry on balancing like I was doing. So whenever you hear run a bean, I want you to try that. Right, have a look round, see which different parts of your body you can balance the bean bag on. Ready, off you go. Oh, I love this one. On your knee like this, that is brilliant. Can you do it while you hop like that? Oh, that's a brilliant one, I love that. Fantastic. Run a bean, run a bean. Drop your bean bag, round it quick, 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 quick. Quick as you can, quick as you can. Love it, quick, quick, quick. Brilliant, find your bean bag. Back on your head like this, off we go. There you go. Next one we are going to try, which is really helpful when we play football, okay? Because like I said, someone mentioned Mbappe earlier, and Mbappe, oh, careful, foul, yellow card. Okay, somebody mentioned Mbappe scoring a volley. Yeah, he mentioned Mbappe, didn't he? Okay, and when he does that, he balances like this. So, can we put the bean bag on our knee and how many hops can we do before it falls off? Oh, I did four. Okay, see how many you can do. The next one. Now, this one's going to be quite tricky. Who thinks they can do a tricky one? Okay, right. Bean bag's on your head, so I know you're listening. Bean bag's on your head. Now, this one, okay, this one is a really tricky one. I want you to see how you can do, all right? I want you to practice as much as possible. So, what you are going to do is going to balance the bean bag on your foot like this, like a footballer, and you're gonna see how many hops you can do with it balanced on your foot like this. Okay, oh, look at that. Love that. Brilliant. Keep practicing, keep practicing. That's it. Oh, try with both feet, see how you go on. So balance it, lift it up, and we're balancing. Oh, like this. All right, so we've looked at lots of skills to help us being a footballer. We're going to add another skill now, which is really important if you are a goalkeeper. What does the goalkeeper try and do with the ball when someone tries to score? They try and save it, they try and catch it. So, this is what we are going to do. I'm going to give you two minutes to get your beanbag. You are going to balance it on your foot like this. And then, I want to see if you can do this. Are you watching? Are you ready? You are going to try and see if you can 
Do that and catch it. Oh, okay. See if you can do it. Have a go. Oh, nearly. There you go. You can use mine. There you go. Love it. One. That's brilliant. Make sure you got lots of space. See how many you can do in a row. Brilliant. That's it. See how many you can do in a row. Let's have a look, Dexter. Yeah, love that. Brilliant. Okay. If if you can do it three times in a row, can you try with your other foot? Oh, brilliant. Let's have a look. Yeah, and a one-handed catch. That is fantastic. Yes, love that. Brilliant. Oh, what a catch. We are going to add another skill with our beanbags. We are going to do some throwing because who in a football match needs to do some throwing? The goalkeeper. So this is what you're going to do. Add the jump and save it. You are going to see how many points you can score. Now to score a point, this is what you do. In a second, not yet. In a second, when I tell you, and again, I'll choose the people who are smartest to get theirs first. You're going to get your beanbag and then you are going to have two minutes to score as many points as you can. Now, to score points, Seb, it's a good question I'm going to show you. What you need to do is get your beanbag and you need to go and find one of the yellow markers all around the outside. Now, when you find the yellow marker, to score a point, you've got to throw your beanbag and if it lands on one of the blue spots, you get a point, okay? Now, you might go for a spot which is quite close. You might go for a spot which is a little bit further away. Which one should I go for, do we think? That one. Show me then. Go on. That one, right. I'll go for that one. Ready? Let's have a look. Let's see how I get on. All right. So we'll go for that one. So to score a point, I need it to hit the blue marker. Let's have a look. Do you think I'll do it? No. Oh, let's have a look. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, how many points do I get? Zero. Zero. Okay. So once you've thrown your beanbag, you then need to run out. Thank you very much. You go and get it. And then you go and find another spot. So I'm going to go to this spot now. Right. Now, I didn't quite get it last time, so I'm going to go for this a little bit easier. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Two minutes start. Now, off we go. How many points can you score? Off you go. Different marker each time. That's it. Keep going. Oh, stand on a yellow. Okay, Dexter. So if you start, there's a yellow marker over there. Look. Oh, there's one over there. How many points can you get? Yeah, love that. 20 seconds. Can you get two more points? Yeah. I, I did 50 already. 50, that is brilliant. 10 seconds. Five, four, three. Can you get one more point? Two, one, and hold it there. I am going to give you a chance in the next game to beat your score. So you can choose whether you throw the beanbag like you have been doing, like this, okay, to score one point, or if you want to go for two points, we're not kicking the beanbag, but we're balancing it on our foot and to get two points like this. Ready? Oh, yeah, that'll be worth two points, okay? Two minutes, three, two, one, play, go, 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 go. That's it, two points if you use your foot, one point if you throw it. That's it. As well as some throwing, we are going to add some catching. So this is what I'd like to do. You're gonna find a space, you've got one minute to see how many times you can throw, do a clap and catch. Then two claps and catch, three claps and catch. How many claps can you do? Let's have a go, off we go. No way. Yes, I did one. Well done. Then can you do two claps? Brilliant. Yes, how many was that? Three? I got six. Six claps. Brilliant. I did five. Five. I love that. Next, keep going. Can you get six? Oh, good catch. Eight. Well done. Can anybody catch with one hand? Oh, let's have a low. Oh, nearly, Jackson. Well done. Good effort. Can you do it? You can't like that. Brilliant. Well done. Oh, brilliant. Like it. 
All we used were some bean bags and some markers. And what was really key and important was that we developed skills which are going to help them in their football careers, also help them in terms of their physical literacy and help them to, to play any sport that they wish going forward. It's really important that we develop those fundamentals such as the balancing that we did, the throwing, the catching, um, to help them and lay those foundations which will then allow them to find football skills which they'll go on to do such as dribbling, such as shooting, such as volleying, such as catching or throwing as a goalkeeper building those foundations which allow them to do that and make it really easy for them.